All right, we back with another video. Just let me know. This is a quick video. Just let me know what y'all want. Comment down, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with y'all. I hope all is well. Thank you for joining me for this Truth Talk episode. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the movies that expose the truth about the world. But before you begin, a lot goes into making these movies. Are these Hollywood studios really spending hundreds of millions of dollars just to entertain the audience? Well, we all know there's a monetary gain in the film industry. But what most people don't know is that the movies they watch has always served an alternate purpose. Since the beginning of Hollywood, they have been using movies for many sinister reasons. Most of you should already know that many propaganda films were made created to influence the masses to support any cause the elite desire. If the elite wanted to go to war, they would use Hollywood to create propaganda films that would convince the masses a war was needed. Or how the tobacco companies also use Hollywood movies to influence the masses to use their products. Another purpose Hollywood uses movies for is to hide the truth in plain sight. What most people don't know is that Hollywood has hidden the truth about the world in your favorite movies, with most of the world not even realizing it. While you think what you're watching is just a movie made for entertainment, the elite are actually taunting you with the truth through these movies. In today's episode, we will be taking a look at some of those movies that the elite hid the truth in plain sight in. Movies that many of you most likely watch and didn't even realize it. The first movie we're going to be talking about is Idiocracy. Idiocracy was a 2006 sci-fi comedy film starring Luke Wilson. The movie was about Luke's character Joe Bowers who was a part of the military and was placed in a secret military operation where they were running a hibernation experiment. For the experiment, Joe would be put into a hibernation machine with a female companion. Those running the experiment would end up getting arrested and Joe would be forgotten in the hibernation machine waking up 500 years later in a whole new world. Joe starts to wander through this new world when he quickly realizes he's no longer in 2005. Joe quickly notices that even though he is in the future and technology has improved significantly, it seems like the masses have gotten dumber. People were no longer capable of speaking proper English, resulting in communicating in phrases and grunts. The people of this world all sat around being influenced by the celebrities and reality shows to the point where they voted a wrestler as president. The population was severely overweight as overconsumption became normal. The crops had all died and the water was replaced with energy drinks. This comedic world of brainless zombies seems like something only possible in a stupid comedy movie. But think again. What if I told you that what this movie was showing you was a look into the future the Masons are trying to create? Obviously, this is a comedic rendition of their true plans, but it's still fairly accurate. The elite who run our world have been working towards dumbing down the population and making them lazier so they can be easier to control and less likely to rebel. What you saw in this movie is a direct result of the ongoing agendas that are taking place as we speak. In the movie, they stated that all of this happened because the smart people stopped reproducing in order to focus on their careers, leading to only less intellectual people reproducing, eventually causing only dumb people to populate the world. If you take a look around nowadays, more and more people are choosing to not have children. And this is directly tied to the reduced population agenda. The elite want the women of our world to forget about having children and being mothers. This way, less people would have children. This movie also shows the mark of the beast. There's a scene in the movie where Joe is captured and forced to get a tattoo on his wrist that is used to pay for things in this world and is also used as a form of identification. This is an obvious reference to the mark of the beast. This movie shows how they would force the masses to take the mark of the beast in order to participate in their society. They also showed how they were going to dumb down the population using food, technology, and entertainment. They showed how the people were mindless zombies glued to screens watching the dumbest type of reality shows possible while they were eating highly processed foods, washing it all down by drinking sugary drinks. In the movie, this is how they dumbed down the population, and if you look around, you can see it happening in real time. Nowadays, the movies and TV shows people are watching are becoming more and more packed with mindless violence and oversimplistic comedy, dumbing down the masses. Just about all foods sold in grocery stores are highly processed junk or cooked in hazardous palm oil use designed to take you out by the time you're 60. Or even worse, just look how people are entertained on TikTok by watching people act like NPCs. People are literally paying other people money to act like mindless bots. This is somehow entertainment to the masses. 
Another example is what we saw with Kai Sinet, how he hosted a giveaway and it started a riot because the masses have lost their common sense. The more that time passes, the more it clearly appears we're heading towards an idiocracy future. This movie was showing the masses right to their faces what the world was going to become and sadly, the masses are allowing it. People are becoming more and more asleep to the point that soon they would be as zombies just doing their tasks and eating the junk created for their end. If you haven't seen Idiocracy yet, I recommend you watch it. They should be streaming it now on one of the streaming platforms. The next movie we're going to be talking about is Jennifer's Body. Jennifer's Body is a 2009 horror comedy film starring Megan Fox. We're not going to talk about the whole movie as only a few scenes during the first half of the movie are truly important. In the movie, Megan plays Jennifer Check, who lives in a small town called Devil's Kettle with her close friend Annetta Lenski. Jennifer and Annetta are two high school girls who decided to go out and see a local upcoming band at a local bar. While there, Jennifer is enjoying the performance when she makes eye contact with the lead singer of the band. Jennifer seems to fall into a trance while staring at the artist when out of nowhere, the whole place goes up in flames. Jennifer and Annetta manage to escape with their lives but many others weren't so lucky. While outside, the lead singer of the band appears in a van offering Jennifer to leave with him to continue the fun. Jennifer wants to go with them, but Annetta begs her not to. Jennifer still decides to go with the band, not knowing what they had in stock for her. The band then takes Jennifer to a secluded part of the woods, where they tied her up and proceeded to sacrifice her to the devil in order to make it in the music industry. After the sacrifice, the band goes on to be breakout rock stars. This scene is one of the most revealing scenes I have seen in a movie yet. Openly, they showed the world how these rock stars sell their souls and provide a sacrifice in order to make it. They showed that in order to be initiated into the music industry, you must make a blood sacrifice. Something else this scene revealed is that these artists are performing a mass sacrifice at their concerts and shows. In the movie, the band is performing when out of nowhere, the whole place catches on fire, causing many people to pass. This wasn't by accident, as this was a part of the sacrifice the band purposely did. The band was purposely sacrificing their fans, just like we saw with Travis Scott. We saw an example of this in Travis Scott's Astro World performance, where many people passed as well. To everyone that's aware of what's really going on, they saw the situation for what it really was. A massive sacrifice ritual, just like we saw depicted in this movie. The elite are showing us exactly what goes on in the industry with this movie. What's interesting is that Jennifer, who was Megan Fox, ends up becoming a demon in this movie. When she was sacrificed, she wasn't a pure virgin, so the sacrifice didn't go as planned. Instead of her just passing, she turned into a blood-sucking demon. If you have been keeping up with Megan, then you would have noticed that Megan is into some strange things. I revealed before that Megan and MGK are occultists as they themselves have admitted to participating in rituals and even drinking each other's blood during said rituals. This is why Megan was chosen to play this role, because she herself is an occultist who participates in ritual magic. The next movie we're going to be talking about is American Satan. American Satan is a 2017 thriller film starring Andy Bursack who plays Johnny Fawcett, the member of an upcoming rock band trying to make it at any cost. Johnny and the rest of his band move to Los Angeles in hopes of making it in the music industry. While in Los Angeles, they are approached by a man who claims to be the devil. The devil then makes a proposition to the band, offering them fame, money, and power if they sell their souls to him and make a ritual offering. The devil even references Kanye in this scene. The band first rejects that offer, but Johnny eventually chooses to sacrifice a man he is having problems with. Johnny and the band grab their victim, shove him in a van, tie him up, and then set the van ablaze. At the very last moment, Johnny changes his mind and lets the man out of the van, but somehow the man still gets sacrificed after climbing an electric fence. After this, the devil keeps his word, as the band then instantly gets offered a record deal and starts recording hit songs. Johnny then gets arrested for taking that man out, but is quickly released as he is magically found not guilty. Johnny and his band then become mega stars as they start getting consumed by the evils of the industry. The band starts to become addicts and Johnny ends up losing his love interest after cheating on her and he also ends up losing one of his bandmates due to the substances. While all the chaos is happening, Johnny and, and the band just keep on going. Things get even ritual, darker but but when the band time, is invited to perform, perform at a large music festival, as but it's told see. by the devil in order for this to happen. I have to give you my response. The whole point of this channel is for you to make your own opinion on things that you see. 
Just let me know if you agree or you disagree. Let me know what you want to see next. And we're just going to keep posting videos like this. I'll see you on the next one.